cooking. Have you guys seen cooking yet? His latest video in cognito mode. Let's go. Cooking. Cooking. What is cooking? Do you guys cook? I have to admit, I, I don't really cook anymore. I, I should pick up cooking again. Oh, life is so hard though, man. Life, oh my god, I just, ugh. There's so much work. There's just so much work, you know? Why cook when you can order food, you know? Good mic for there. It's a frozen there. TV dinner, that's what it is, this cooking. Yeah, and yeah, I put yeah, it in yeah, the yeah. microwave with my yeah. camera. I love microwaveable food, man. I love microwaveable food. Camera, so you can see it cooking in real time. Don't worry, that's not smoke. That's steam. It's totally normal. Yes. <laughs> Black steam. My non professor is chef. Oh, it's so stinky! Oh god, it's locked. It won't open. It won't open. This this must be hurting you then. Seeing seeing this this right here must be hurting you. Oh lord. Help! Help! I'm gonna have to break the glass. <laughs> I can't I can't I can't reach the plug. Oh, the, the editing plug. is amazing, man. Just just disconnect it! Just rip out the cords! Disconnect it from the, the cord, man! Where's the lamp sauce? Yes, operate! I have fire services! Yes! Come quickly! I'm very hungry. <laughs> In the field. Beep! Let him cook! Let him cook, chat! Let him cook! I would like to try, just once, cooking yeah? meth. I think <laughs> that looks... I don't not expect that. Kind of fun. You know what I mean? You know, it feels no, like I don't, it's got I that don't, nice I don't. kind of part about cooking where it's like, you don't have to be exactly right about the recipe. You can kind of intuit a few things. If watching the first two seasons of Breaking Bad taught me one thing is the more specific you are, the better. And nope, then I don't think any of that's true. <laughs> At the end, you get this big glassy thing and it's like, all right, you don't even have to smoke it. You could just turn it into like a nice vase. It feels <laughs> entrepreneurial as well. It's like me and the gang. There's something nice about it. I think it'd be cool if we had a cooking. <laughs> Bro, what the, what the fucking music? As well, it's like me and the gang. There's something nice about it. I think it'd be cool if we had a cooking show. Binging with Babbage. But it's like. Oh, it's I jokes. love binging with Babbage, man. I used to binge all of binging with Babbage. I'm sad that he handed off, like, the anime section to, like, other people and shit. Like, great for him that he's making, like, a full ass career out of it. But I miss the, like, the indie binging with Babbage. You know what I mean? Welcome you know what to I mean? Tweaking me? with Tony. I'm your host, <laughs> Tweaking Tony. And like week one, it's like, it's Tony, it's the pilot episode, right? So it's like today. Why not twerking? We're just going to yeah. be making some classic old fashioned methamphetamine. <laughs> and it like does I a B roll. It's just like a baking sheet. <laughs> it's like methamphetamine, like wipes over methamphetamine. <laughs> <laughs> oh Here's some I prepared earlier. But if you're going to do the same, Ooh. you're going to need. This is my grandmother's recipe. <laughs> You know, she didn't exactly pass it down to me, but I remember watching her make it a lot when we were children. Oh, oh my and god! And now I've had a lot of fun recreating it for my new recipe book, <laughs> Tweaking with Tony: Recipes to Serve Thirty to Life. Ooh. But then, like, people Thanks love Tweaking it. With Tony. Mm. So now we're on like episode six. We've done like meth, cocaine, crack, and we've done like a little trendy video where it's like today we're, we're going to be making cooking. the meth from Breaking Bad. That's right, everybody. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we started right out of gimmicks. We've done uh, opium into just uh, heroin, and, yeah. uh, oh and it's like season seven is like, all right, today we're going to explore what to do when you're a little bit tired of cooking, right? Uh, today we're just gonna, we're just going to be huffing paint, <laughs> <laughs> minimal effort, no real prep time. You can be in and out in forty five <laughs> seconds. No. Uh, today we will be drinking just gasoline uh, with a spoon. No. <laughs> now there's no need to preheat this. You can just drink it at room temperature. Uh, it's perfectly good. I'm I've said this before, but I really don't like the smell of uh, 
gasoline. I really don't like the smell of it. I don't know. I think it's more of a guy thing. The guys like the smell of gasoline more. I'm gonna step onto my balcony garden, <laughs> uh, where we will climb over to my neighbor's balcony garden. Hold on. We're gonna be using his kitchen today because the smell <laughs> won't dissipate sure. for several weeks. <laughs> And we don't want the police knocking on our door uh, now, sure. do we? It's yeah, like a studio it makes sense. audience applause. Oh, it man, makes this sense. This is like such a brilliant premise for a show. If, uh, this would be so much funnier if I knew anything about cooking meth. <laughs> you know what I hate mm. is I feel like cookbooks are like so incredibly vain. Yeah, there's some great, you what know, you recipes mean? and stuff for you to make at home. No. But really, it's about my childhood. No, it fucking <laughs> isn't, man. <laughs> Hold yeah, up. It's really describing a memory around this recipe. Like, you know, you know. What, what the fuck? Oh, Kevin from The Office. That yeah. dude has a cookbook for chili. Yeah. Wait, what? Hey, yo. I got that. 106 recipes in that book. Mm. And he was like, but there's some great stories in this book. I don't care. I just want to. I just want to cook. I promise. There's some great stories. Can you imagine, like, you're trying to get fucking dinner ready for her story, and she's like, oh, babe, are, are you almost done making the <laughs> salmon quiche? And you're like, yeah, hold on, man. I mean, when he was growing up <laughs> in the Philippines, like... I just got to the bit with his first kiss. <laughs> why, why does it matter that your grandma made it this way? Yeah. Literally. No, I don't. Why? I hate it. Never shit. I watch so many YouTube videos where they're like, I don't really like adding this much salt, but that's how my grandma used to make... Your mm. grandma's not in your kitchen with a wooden stick ready to hit you on the fucking hand. I want to see a grandma with a Michelin star before I start taking more of this grandma advice. I'm sick of this. They're trying to justify doing it stupidly. Mm. They're like, normally you can just crack your hard boiled eggs, you know, a little bit on the side and just peel them off. But I like yeah. to just eat them with the shell on. You know, call me crazy, <laughs> but you know, that's how Gam Gam does. But calcium though, that extra calcium. <laughs> we were happy. What level of cookery are you at? And look at me now. I grew up and I'm just fine. Are you though? Are you really fine though? How much of a, like, if I gave you a restaurant, like, how long would it be before you burn it down? How often do you cook? I've got an, a relative instinct for things, but I'm really not good at following instructions. I yeah. just don't like instructions very much. Really? <laughs> no. It's the same with, like, Ikea furniture, right? I just want to kind of intuit everything. <laughs> how are you freestyling <laughs> Ikea furniture? <laughs> Bro, IKEA furniture is so easy to put together, though. And the, like, like the 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 the, the manual is so easy to read, bro. Well, you just sort of, oh, well, this bolt looks about this side. This looks about like this nut size. <laughs> no! So these two must go together. And then I, well, what what tends to happen is I go right. Can I intuit this thing? No. All right. Historian, I've organized all the pieces neatly. <laughs> I, I remember <laughs> oh when I was down and out back in the day, didn't have much money, and I had heard, you know, there's a whole bunch of foods at the supermarket that you should really try that people oh, simply overlook, foods but if they're you're great poor, if you don't have no. any money. But you need to make a bowl of cereal, milk cereal bowl, it doesn't matter what order, but the bowl always goes last, oh my fucking god. Amani? I'm like, yeah, go on. Yeah. And so they're like dried kidney beans and lentils and stuff. It's like, oh, you know what? It's true. I do overlook those. The Let unregistered type sure. of So I cam. bought these kidney beans and I thought, you know, I like these. These will be great. So I, I get these home and I'm hungry and I'm like, right, time for some kidney bean cereal, I guess. This is the most historian story <laughs> ever. <laughs> you know, if, if you're a viewer of this show and you have watched like the dozens of hours of historian <laughs> describing himself and the wonky shit, this, this is it. This is like textbook. <laughs> no, oh I mean, this story doesn't really go anywhere, but all right. So I'm hungry and I've got these kidney beans and they're yeah, all dry. Which, uh, yep. So, good luck. Dried beans are rock hard. Yeah, have fun. And hard. So, I read the instructions, and it says, soak them for 24, 24 hours, hours in cold water. Bro, uh, I hate this. Like, if I want to eat something, I want to eat something now. I, I don't want to make food for the next day. I want to make food for now. Bro. Yeah. And I just went, what? <laughs> what? 
I'm hungry now. <laughs> Literally inedible otherwise. Fine. You know, I'll order something. So I, you know, went and I had some other food. But I, the out beans. of the principle of it, I started soaking these beans. Now it's 24 hours later. And I'm like, right, should be good now. I tested one of them. Still exactly as hard as they were when they Bruh! first came out of the bag. And I went, all right, sure. well, something must What's have happened, point? though. I then throw that pot of water Use canned beans, on yeah. the boil. After an hour, these things are just as hard as when they came uh-uh. out of the bag. I was like, what is happening? <laughs> so I, I just kept cooking them and kept cooking them. And they did not get any softer. After about, you know, however much it f-ing cost me in electricity to run this f-ing stove, I went, f-ing. Uber Eats. <laughs> that was the last time I ever tried to eat poor people food. <laughs> people food? Oh my god. <laughs> my mom is very adamant about not wasting food and also not buying food if you can make it. Right. Uh, which is very frustrating to hear from a woman who's like capable of cooking anything. Mm. So when I take her out to eat, like we'll go and get like fried chicken and she'll be like, I can make this. And I'm like, I know you can make this. Like, this yeah, is, but that's I not want the, the point fast of why we're doing food. this. And she'll <laughs> say it to me when I'm on my show, like, you know how to fry chicken. I'm like, I'm not. Are you fucking joking? <laughs> Do you have any idea how much of a hassle it is? Yeah. Get half a gallon of fucking oil. To fry chicken. The to clean up alone. And then what the fuck am I supposed to do with the oil? And she's just like, oh my oh, god, that is so true. Stuff, fuck the cleaning up, man. I'm not going to keep frying shit all week. <laughs> I'm not going to get the fucking lifespan out of this thing. Are you crazy? <laughs> Add time. Okay, I am driving really fast right now because oh, I am shit. super late with this truck full of Nord VPNs. Oh shit. And I am innocently crossing the road no! to use public Wi Fi at that Not him again. Day. No, look no, out. he's I'm gonna get me sick. Oh truck. my god. Truckoon. Collision. And that's when I woke up in a very strange land. Um, so that just happened. Harumph. You're the chosen one? I'm not very impressed. Come on, let's go see the king. Yeah, I am the king. You are the chosen one. I'm skeptical and self deprecating. I'm not the chosen one. <laughs> I'm just an ordinary guy. No, oh look, he has the sacred symbol. Oh, that's <laughs> just a birthmark. No, you are the very <gasps> prophesized Sally. guy. I will never learn to love him. You will bring peace and a two-year plan for several bonus months to all seven kingdoms and finally bring an end to Dredicus. Whoa, whoa, Dredicus, Dredicus, Dredicus. I'm evil. First, I'm going to hack you. Yes. Then I'm gonna sell your data. Yes. No! yes. And then I'll kill your dog. Do it. <laughs> sell your data. <laughs> yes, Dredicus. Yes. And then I'll kill your dog. Do it, oh Dredicus. Remove the Office UK from the international Netflix. No. Card. No. Blog. No matter how much I training montage, I'll never be strong enough to fight Dredicus. Something, something. Inspiration, inner strength. Oh, okay. I hate this. I hate this. Oh my god, I hate wow, this I so did it. much. I believe in myself. Yes. No. Now do it I across hate this so much. up to six different devices. Oh, I You've hate been training this. for two years and also four bonus months now. And you are full strength. Oh my god. Lord VPN. Wait. Don't forget this MacGuffin item threat protection. If only I had had it many moons ago, I would st- I would not have lost my arm. Dredicus! Dredicus! This is the fight! Yup. What happened next was the most epic fight scene you've ever seen in television history. It was incredible. You would've loved it. International Netflix Catalog! The do- I love how creative the sky is, man. Oh my god. I wish I had like 1% of his creativity, man. And maybe then I could escape the React Andy niche. Dust settles, revealing <laughs> I'm still alive. The tide of the battle is turning against me. Uh-oh, I never stopped driving this Wait, truck. hold up. Trap Kuna's bank. <laughs> you did it. You defeated Dredicus. Good on you, King. Thanks. Also, I love you now. 
Hold up. I appreciate that. Let's see who was under that mask all along. <gasps> no. Sailor man? Sailor man? It's a Why? twist. Don't think about it. Instead, just go to North. NordVPN.com slash incognito to get a two-year plan plus four bonus months. It's a right good deal. You're gonna love it. It's the best damn VPN on the market. Add over. <laughs> Indian chocolate. You see, milk. lifestyles are not the same throughout the world. What? Where do you get your beverages, Mr. Historian? I put a cup outside and I wait. All right. What? But some people in other... <laughs> it's gonna be full of piss. It's gotta be full of piss. Countries have to have their drinks I, made for yeah. them. I find that very hard to believe. Okay, well, hopefully you don't find it hard to hit the play button. What do you got? Indian bouncing soda. It starts out bouncing. with a man. Okay. Okay. All right. Good description. Pouring a. Goes <laughs> 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 man pouring. Okay, so, so there's a man with a bag of milk. It seems as though he's cut a hole in the bottom, and now the liquid is all pouring out into a glass. Wait, are you a milk in a bag country? Because I'm not. I think it's weird. That is so hella weird. I've seen it once in a store here. Once. But mostly, we sell milk on paper cartons here. You know? Like those paper bags. Those, not a bag, like those cartons. Milk in a bag? Isn't that like a Canadian a thing? A yeah, I don't understand it. Anywhere but a bag. All right, then he takes these little sachet packets of like chocolate powder mix, and he just very messily puts them into the glass. Sumito, there's no flair at all. Where's the pizzazz? Well, hold on. If this is what I think it is, you're about to be impressed. Ah, oh. yep, here we go. Didn't mix oh. it at all, he oh. says. Wow, he's good. <laughs> okay, I take everything back that I said. Yo! Oh, yo! You gotta imagine that at least once or oh. twice a day he fucks oh. up and that dude behind him just gets splattered. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, he did get splattered. Then when he makes himself a soda at home, he's doing the same thing. Oh, absolutely. His wife's and pissed off because yeah. she's asking him to warm up breast milk from the fridge. <laughs> and he's over here doing spinny shit. <laughs> she's like, babe! And he's like, sorry, sorry, just cut off work. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. I was gonna say, I've seen ones where they fucking like bounce it off the ceiling and shit. This guy was Damn. just warming up. <laughs> <laughs> Look how bad he's fucking like up the ceiling. It sounds like a gunshot, man. The black marks. First of all, he is dripping wet. Oh, wow. I don't think he's great at this. It's not sweat, it's splash. No, I think right? it's just I a good hope it's sweat. Uh, workout. I love the idea that his wife like really disapproves of the way <laughs> he's so flamboyant with the milk. And she's like, you're just going to serve the milk, the right? You promise you're not going to do this spinny thing anymore. I promise. I promise I won't. And then he goes home <laughs> and he like, them. his shirt is drenched and he smells like oh sour milk. <laughs> she's like, what have you been doing? What have you been doing all day? <laughs> Nothing. I swear. Someone dropped a milk on me. It's not, it's not what you think. Can you imagine what it'd be like to come home as like a circus clown? <laughs> but your wife's like an accountant. Yeah, she's like, she's like, no more clown. He's like, I promise, I promise. But then he just keeps doing it anyway. And he has to like sneak into the house. <laughs> and you gotta just come home wiping the makeup off your Get face. Get rid of all the makeup. <laughs> You're covered yeah. in like cream pie, like whipped cream and like the spray <laughs> water. The fact that not every country sells bags of milk still blows my mind. I never get over this. The fact that there are countries that do sell bags of milk blows my mind. Water. It's like knocking on the bathroom door. It smells like remorse in there. What are you doing? <laughs> that, that's what this dude's life is. No way. They're adding sound effects. Like, no. literally, that's literally a gunshot, man. Yeah, what the fuck? That, 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 that one's not real. That one's not real. Shotgun loading sound effect. Oh, he dropped it! No! no! Certified goofball. Uh, why, why is he... Could I do oh. it? No. Should I do it? Why is he shaking it? Also, you know... You know what I'm thinking of? Just, like, get one of those milk, like... Like... Asteris, you know? Like, it costs, like, what, ten dollars? Five, if, if you're lucky? Like, go to a Dharma store, you get the fucking cheap men. You don't need, I'm gonna do this entire spiel. 
do it. Fuck? Probably not. But I, I gotta say, whoever's making glasses in India, good job. I don't think I'd drink that. That durable. Like, honest. what the fuck? No. I don't know anything that needs. Street food is part entertainment. The more you entertain the person, the bigger the tips. Huh. Fair, fair, fair. But at this point, I just want my milk. <laughs> I don't want this entertainment. I just want the milk. Be shaking that violently. <laughs> yeah. I like this. this Thanks for the follow, Rook B. Going nuts. Dude, what, what are you guys' favorite nuts? I swear, I love cashews and pistachios. Cashews, 100% favorite though. Oh, and those, those, what are they called? Macadamias? Macadamias? Oh, I love those. Macadamias. M Macadamias and cashews are my favorite. Peanuts. Oh, damn. Peanuts are my least favorite ones, definitely. Walnuts? Walnuts are okay. Almonds are... I would say I prefer almonds over walnuts. Macadamia's a freaking laugh. Pistachios? Mmm, mmm. I do like peanut butter and sweets. Peanut butter and sweets is okay. You know what, Sumito? I am tired of in the field. What, what? if I did a... No. Worst case scenario. Oh, shit. What? And you were trapped in an insane asylum. Hold up. Hold up. We're D&D &D now. You suddenly feel a sharp pain in your stomach. Oh, no. Oh, no. Everything goes black. It is your appendix again. No. Now, you are again? taken to a very serious hospital. There you are. Hey, that's me from when I had my yeah. penis in small mint. You're in a <laughs> hospital. Okay. Now... There happens to also be another guy at the hospital. He is very stressed out. Oh, the CIA is after me brainwaves. Hey, buddy, you okay, man? How did you know my name was Buddy? I'll Hold kill up. you. Listen, no, kill your no. you're stressed oh, out. No. Let me try to put your mind at ease, all right? I'm in your walls. I'm in your walls, man. I'm in your walls. I, he what? gives you a smile. He goes, Oh, no. Well, you know what? You'll uh -huh. be in the wall soon. But he is in the wall. You don't know what that means. <laughs> now, Literally, time like... passes. It's nighttime <laughs> now, and you go to sleep. Sure. But sure. While yeah. you're asleep, Buddy sneaks into your room. No, Buddy. He goes up to the medical chart at the foot of your bed, and he swaps them. He swaps his chart with your chart. Oh no! Fuck. When you wake no. up the next morning, how you doing, little fella? How how are you doing, doctor? Well, you you gave us a bit of a fright there. Okay. Well, we're just gonna put these restraints around you. What? All right, take them away, boys. And then security comes <laughs> and takes you to. <gasps> no. I'm at Hogwarts. It's the Westminster <laughs> Asylum for the clinically insane and especially not good in the head and often dangerous and likes to bite. Okay, I'll, I'll roll with it. You are now trapped. <gasps> How do you prove that you are sane and get out? Okay, so your doctor comes in for an interview. Hello. Hey, buddy. What's going on? Welcome back. Back? We're so glad to have you back. It's my first time here. Oh, is that right? Well, we're very <laughs> glad to have you then. Brilliant. Uh, my name's Samet. What's your name? I'm Dr. Incredulous. Wow, I, I can't believe that's your name. All right. Well, I'll be back with your pills. Brilliant. And he comes back. Oh, no. Here you go, little fella. That's oh. a love. <laughs> that's a love. Happy pills. Yeah, Just, take, <laughs> Just take these and you'll be back to yourself in no time. Absolutely. And as I reach out my hands to grab the pills, I fucking wrap them around his leg, take <gasps> him down to the ground, and oh, choke shit. him unconscious with the fucking window curtain. <laughs> 16. Hey! He is now what? I take his glasses, I take his lab coat, I take his stethoscope, I throw my shirt on him. All right, it's Dr. Okay, Sumito. cool, cool, cool. Okay, so what are you going to do? I step outside of the room and I move into the next door. Doodly doodly do. It's me. Mm. I'm going to roll a dice and the first 
security guard that you walk by, I'm going to see if he falls for any of this stuff because you really look just like the patient that was admitted and you definitely don't look like Dr. Incredulous. <laughs> eight. You got an eight. Aww. Out of ten? This is such a terrible <laughs> idea. You would have to roll a 20. I'm a brown guy in a lab coat. Who the fuck is questioning me? All uh, right, stop right there, criminal scum. Who are you? Oh, no. <laughs> I quickly glanced at his badge. What's his name say? I'm a security guard working for the hospital. I don't have no names. I'm a, I'm a face without a name. I'm a bit well, of a sure. I don't agent. believe that. I'm Dr. Incredulous. What's your deal, man? All right, you can have my name. It's Liz. Les, Liz do this. Let's do this. Yeah, I'm ready to <laughs> do know. this. I know. Let's do this. He's an NPC it's like the number 69, 69, 69. Let's do this. We've met before, don't you recall? I wasn't. Let's deal, man. I a name. I'm a bit well, of a rogue. I don't agent. believe that. I'm Dr. Incredible. I'm a, I'm a face with him. Oh my I'm god, ready it to was. Do this. <laughs> I know. Let's do this. We've met before, Let's don't do you recall? This. Don't tell me you've been sampling some of the pills we've been giving the patients. Oh no! Listen, no. I've been working here the past five years. Five years, yeah, I know. In fact, uh, Dr. Incredulous is the godfather to my children. Of course. I know what Dr. Incredulous looks like. Of course I am. Like. You think and you I wouldn't know not little him. Why are you claim to be a new doctor or something? Why are you claim to be the same one that people see every day? I can't believe this is the roadblock we're bumping into. What's it matter? So listen, I'm going to let you off this time. But really? I want you to do one thing. What? Anything, let's do this. Oh, Nah, nah, shit writing. So the thing is, you're probably still a very dangerous mental patient. And so I need you to do a whole therapy session in order what? to cure yourself. What? That's a trap, but sure. Suddenly you're in the uh, therapy office. Why not? Why don't you have a seat over there in the chair? <laughs> I think it started when my mom's standards dropped and she Whoa. met my father. Could I ask? I'm a little confused. Why am I in here? What makes me crazy? Well, you know, it's a multi-factor thing. Let us begin with what you are wearing. Next. It all began with my birth. None of my parents showed up. <laughs> you attacked an innocent doctor who was merely trying to help you. And third, on your medical chart, it said that you were I'm a paranoid schizophrenic with gingivitis. No. Gingivitis, yeah, no. Disease. Yeah, so uh, what if I agree to brush my teeth and stop attacking doctors? That, that should cover most of that, no? Wait, do you think brushing your teeth will cure you of your craziness? Go on. A patient beliefs. Okay. I cough. <laughs> And then I lunge at her legs and start <laughs> strangling her with the window. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, you've no, come up with oh one God. solution so far, which is violence every time. <laughs> what do you it's want me to do? You and I position. both know I'm not talking my way out of a mental facility, man. <laughs> listen, I want to get better, doctor. I want to get out of here and go see my family and my internet friends that are definitely real. Well... <laughs> Luckily for you, we just have this brand new pop quiz that you can take, and it will determine if you yes, are crazy or regular. Yes, i Give me the quiz. <laughs> okay, so here's the first test. What do you see? Okay, I <laughs> see Kermit the Frog bussing it down sexual style. <laughs> he might be a quirked up white boy goaded with the sauce, maybe? Congratulations, that's that's exactly right. Well, you've passed number one. <laughs> but who wants to be a millionaire? Three. All right, four. Getting out of the insane asylum. This is question two. If three kids can eat three hot dogs in three minutes, how yeah. many minutes would it take for 100 kids to eat 100 hot dogs? Dun, 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 dun. Would you like to phone a friend? Can I ask <laughs> the audience for a 50 50? Uh, 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 100? Uh, can I phone a friend? We don't actually allow phone calls. Yeah, all right. <laughs> who do you, yeah, who do you want to fucking call? Uh, can I call my buddy Sammy, the, the helicopter pilot? That's what we call him. All right. <laughs> Sammy, 
I'm in the f mental asylum, man. <gasps> Come smash in the window and helicopter <gasps> me out of here. Don't you want to ask me how many kids can eat how many hot dogs? You've only got like 30 seconds left on the clock. It's 100 minutes, man. Just get the helicopter around to the back side. They're going to bring me to the padded room. I need you to smash into the side of the building and get me out of here. Bring, maybe bring two helicopters. Okay, fine. <laughs> Let me roll for that. 13. You got a 13. All right, I guess that means that Sam's on his way. Nice. Nice, Wait, nice, nice. What did nice. you say your answer was again? I'm going to say three minutes. Final answer. That is correct. Well done, Samito. Now, to prove whether you are definitely nuts or totally normal. Final question. So, if... Wait, did that say it, or Fox? totally normal. Final... Oh, no, not this thing. No! The bane of my childhood. The bane of my childhood. No question. So, if I was to... Listen up, Sumito. This is not the third question. I need your help. The CIA, they're coming for you. They're, what? They put what? a microchip in the back of your head. This was all no. an elaborate scheme. They're trying oh, no. to silence you, Sumito. They're coming for you. You are the chosen one. Quick, take my gun. It's in my top drawer in my desk. When I say, are you ready for question three? That's when you have to act. Sumito, you have to save the world. All right. So, Sumito... Are you ready for question three? Is he gonna stop? Yes, uh, I do. You do. I do not get up and go for the fucking top drawer. That's obviously fucking laced with nerve gas or something, man. This is too obvious. You can what? you can see she's holding this smile on her face, but it, she can't like hold the muscles for too long. It's becoming a faker and faker smile over time. Oh, for the love of God! Okay, I get up and go to the fucking top drawer and fucking save the world. Oh no, Samito! It was a trap. <laughs> it actually was a trap. Gas releases. <laughs> was that really an obvious trap? What? What? I guess I would have fallen for that trap. Oh my! I guess I'm gullible. It's from out of oh, the drawer. Oh no! What? <laughs> Looks like you failed the test. This this was the test the whole time. Who could have fucking guessed? Oh no! But wait, you already high rolled on the Sam the helicopter pirate. Yeah. And so he comes. He's still right coming through the wall. <laughs> The blades cut up the psychologist, and she is dead. Quick, Sumito, make your escape. Nice. What does this have to do with cooking? Thanks for watching. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my god, oh my god, that was amazing. He did cook. Oh my god, he he did cook. Oh my god, he cooked for real. Bro, that oh my god, that was some hella cookage. Holy shit. Oi. Oi, that was a good one. Learned <laughs> so much here. Wow, thanks for watching YouTubes.